Hi everyone, I'm Christina, Chief Creative Officer at Scorly, and today we are going to take a look at briefcase and labels inside Scorly's SEO. To make the most of briefcase and labels, regularly refresh your keyword research to keep your strategies current. Collaborate with your team by sharing labels and always monitor keyword performance to adjust your strategies as needed. So what is briefcase? It's a dedicated space within Squally's SEO for organizing and managing keywords. It allows you to store, categorize and access your keywords easily. So basically, briefcase is your digital toolbox for keywords. Instead of juggling between spreadsheets and scattered notes, you can store and manage your keywords in one dedicated space. This streamlines your workflow and makes keyword management a breeze. The importance of briefcase keeps keyword research actionable and focused, facilitates team collaborations and content strategy organization, provides insights into keyword performance. What are labels? A way to categorize and group keywords within briefcase. Helps to organize keywords based on various strategies. Importance of labels. Helps in organizing campaigns, facilitates target content creation, enhances SEO strategies by grouping relevant keywords. So how could you use labels for branding? For this example, we are going to assume you're a florist. In this label, you could have keywords like custom wedding flowers designed to fit your style and budget, custom florist services, friendly services, and so on. For latest semantic indexing keywords. Let's say you have wedding bouquet as a root keyword. Then you could have keywords like wedding flowers, bridal flowers, wedding flowers ideas, bridal bouquet, wedding accessions, and so on. For indirect targeting. Here you could have keywords like bridal flower hacks or best wedding bouquets of all time. For conversion focus like buy wedding flowers, special price wedding flowers, wedding florist near me. Customer journey. You can use labels to mark keywords based on different stages in your customer journey, like awareness stage, best types of wedding flowers, how to pick wedding flowers, or purchase stage, buy wedding flowers, wedding florist near me. Organize your campaigns. You could have, for example, Valentine's Day campaign, early spring wedding campaign, summer wedding, and so on. You can find more ideas on this resource. Best practices for using briefcase and labels. Regularly refresh keyword research, collaborate with your teams using shared labels, and monitor keyword performance and adjusting strategies. So let's go inside Scully's SEO to see where we can find briefcase and labels and how to use them. Once we are inside our WordPress dashboard, we have to go over here to Squally SEO and briefcase or over here to Squally SEO keyword research and briefcase. So over here, we have a bit of information about the feature. We have the labels that are being created for this particular website. We have some bulk actions like selecting multiple keywords from over here. We can use the bulk action to send them to rankings or to assign a label or to delete those particular keywords. We can also use the search bar over here to search for a particular keyword. Then we have the name of the keywords over here, the usage. This means how many posts were optimized using the Squalis SEO Live Assistant for that particular keyword. We have the rank. This means if a keyword ranks on Google and on which position, the search volume, and of course, the research. By clicking on this button over here on keyword information, we have the country, the competition, the search volume, and the recent discussions. By going to those three dots over here, we can optimize for this. This will take us to an add new post interface, and the keyword will be added to the live assistant. We can send the keyword to rank checker in order to track this particular keyword on Google rankings. We can refresh the research. We can assign a label so we know for what we want to use this particular keyword and we can delete the keyword. In order to add keywords to the briefcase, you can do that by doing a keyword research 
and then at the last step by going to the three dots you can have to add to briefcase or by going to history to show all keywords and to the three dots you have to add to briefcase if you don't have any labels over here you will first have to create them by going over here to labels over here you have the option to add a new label over here you can create labels that work for your strategy you can create them based on different stages that shape your customer journey like problem awareness solution comparison decision implementation after sales and so on you can create them based on search intent like maybe informational or conversion focused keywords like cheap free shipping best price with the label name maybe transactional or whatever works best for you basically you have to create a label name and select the label color you want and then click on add label then we have the option to have some bulk actions. If we are selecting multiple labels, we have the option to delete them. And you can also use the search bar over here to search for a particular label. Over here, we have the name of our labels, we have the colors and how many times this label has been used. This means how many keywords have this label assigned. By going to those three dots over here, we can edit the label like so or delete the label. By clicking on the usage number over here, we can see the keywords that have been used for this particular label. As you can see, we are back in briefcase. If we want to see a different label, let's click on this one. Now we have both of those labels selected. If we want to click only this one, we have to deselect this one. And we see the keywords that have this particular label. You can see over here that you also have a label for keywords without labels. By clicking over here, you know that you haven't yet decided where you want to use those keywords in your strategy. So you can select multiple keywords from over here and use the bulk action to assign a label for them. Click on apply and over here you can select the label for those particular keywords. If you want to back up the keywords that you have saved in briefcase, you can do so by going over here to Squally SEO as your configuration and import and data and over here to backup settings and SEO and over here to backup briefcase and if you want to restore the briefcase you can go over here to restore settings and SEO and over here to restore keywords so this is basically it for briefcase. So the briefcase feature provides a simple way for you to keep your best keywords opportunities in a dedicated single page and build a strategy around your main keywords. And the labels are a way for you to color categorize your keywords based on your needs and stay on track with your campaigns. One thing that I forgot to mention, let's go back inside the briefcase and go over here and click on optimize for this. And over here at the live assistant you have access to the briefcase right over here as you can see the keyword that i chose to optimize for this is added over here to live assistant but what i wanted to mention is that you have access to the keywords that are saved inside your briefcase directly from live assistant you can search for them for over here you can use the labels by clicking on them and you can use a different keyword and this way by using multiple keywords you are basically optimizing for multiple keywords. If you want to change the main one, simply click on a different one and the star will be over here. This means that you are now optimizing for this main keyword. By going to analysis, you are basically starting using the live assistant. So this is it for briefcase and labels. Thank you for tuning in. Stay creative, stay inspired and keep optimizing your online presence. Until next time.